Instrument performance models are one of the components used when calculating error ellipses and anti-collision scan results. It is common for users to have multiple revisions of the same IPM, which leaves a degree of uncertainty as to which IPM file the user should select. To overcome this industry-wide issue, Inova have implemented the IPM file management tool. This allows any organisation with a WellSeeker Pro server database to store and manage a list of IPM files on their server, which can then be pulled down to individual PCs, ensuring organisation-wide IPM conformity. When WellSeeker is first installed on a computer, it comes as standard with a set of IPM files, which are located in the WellSeeker Pro roaming folder, which can be accessed from within WellSeeker by selecting Help, Open Setup File Folder, and then from within the WellSeeker Pro folder, selecting IPM. These are the latest IPM files as per the ISC WSA guidelines. Established companies with existing databases may have additional IPM files which are not included in the install. They may have older revisions, files which are named differently, and files from companies that have specific error models, for example, gyro companies. In this case, it is important to ensure everyone in the company is using the same model to avoid any unnecessary issues. The first thing that the user needs to do is to update the IPM folder on the computer with all the relevant IPM files. The user can add to the existing or delete all of the files that are there and replace them. Once this is up to date, the user can then access the IPM management tool, which is available via the Tools menu. To upload and view the IPM files, you need to be connected to a server database as an admin. If you are not connected to the server database, you will see an error message pop up like the one below. So the first thing that you need to do is connect to a remote database as an admin. Once connected to the server, you will be able to upload the company's IPM files by selecting the Upload IPM folder. This option first deletes any existing IPMs on the server database and then uploads all the IPM files from the local PC the user is currently using to the server database. Any IPM files that do not contain error coefficients will not be imported and a log detailing these files will open once the process has been completed. Once uploaded, the user can then view the files by selecting View IPM Files. This dialog shows all the files on the server who added them, and when they were added. To delete all of these files, the user can select the Delete IPMs from Server option. With the IPM files loaded onto the server, any user can then pull these down onto their computer. This requires a stable internet connection and can be done while accessing either a local or a server database. In this example, I'm going to choose to do this from a local database. To make sure the IPM files are being pulled from the correct server, the user needs to enter the IP address and the port number into the ICDS section of the real-time data exchange dialog, as this is what determines the remote database that WellSeeker performs the check on. In most cases, for company-specific installs, these details will already be populated. I'm now in a position to pull the IPM files down from the server. So if we have a quick look back in our roaming folder at our IPMs, we can see that we have 84 IPM files in here. And I'm just going to select the Tools menu, IPM File Management, Pull IPM Files from Server. Depending on how many IPM files there are or your internet connection, this will take a varying amount of time. So here we now says we have 646 tools to import this action will overwrite all existing tools. Do you wish to continue? We select yes. And if we go back to our folder, we can now see that in the roaming folder, we have 647 items. And we have the folder now that says old. And within this old folder, we have all the IPM files that were in here. So they haven't been deleted. They haven't been removed. They've just been put in a, a folder that says old and the program now has the IPM files that have come from the server and these will be accessed, you will be able to access these directly from WellSeeker. There is also an automated check in place where WellSeeker checks the user's local IPM directory to see if it is up to date compared to the server. This works as follows. 
With a stable internet connection, WellSeeker connects to the server database every 30 minutes to perform the check. The IP address and port number entered in the ICDS section of the real-time data exchange dialog is what determines which remote database WellSeeker performs the check on. WellSeeker checks the upload date for each of the IPMs on the server database and takes the most recent date. It then checks the created date for all the IPMs on the local computer and takes the most recent date. If the upload date is newer or greater than the created date, an orange warning displays in the status bar on the bottom right hand side of the main user interface. If no IPMs are on the server, then there will be no error displayed. One important point to note is that this does not check the number or content of files in the two folders, only the upload date and created date. This means that if the files on the server are identical to the ones on the local, but the created date of the local files is less than the server, then the warning will be displayed. If the user sees this warning, then they can choose to pull the IPM files down at any time.